Well, I've been here since 1986. There are a few places where I've been shifted to live in, in the old uh, rundown houses. Uh, it was a small house. Uh, used to look around for old houses that are torn down, get plywood, whatever I needed. Most of the houses were very run down before. And uh, there was no running water, no, uh, basically not electricity in every house that, that was built. There's a lot of people on this reserve that have never had a home. There's some people going into their 30s and they've never even moved out of their mom's house because there is nowhere to go. Things weren't that consistent. Whatever decisions we made on housing uh, was uh, basically scrapped every two years because uh, nobody didn't follow up on those. So we had to create a, a housing committee to continue on with the decisions and the work that we uh, uh, come up with. I guess they need to uh, build more houses for uh, families that have bigger families, get the old houses re-renovated for the winter and stuff like that, you know. The chief and council used to select the, who gets the housing, eh? And now they use a criteria about their needs and whose uh, houses uh, needs major, major renovations or if it's condemned or not. There's a lot of families that are bunched up together, three or four families in one house and it gets them all excited knowing that there's a new house coming or a newly renovated house. I'm one of the lucky ones to have my, my family in one house. Most of the houses here were built incorrectly when they were first built and uh, we're taking care of getting them all fixed up, livable, uh, better than they were before. We usually have different crews every time uh, we take on a project. It's all local labour. We, we try and uh, use uh, community members to do most aspects of the, uh, of the construction. Yeah, I'm able to fix something on my own instead of asking a band to do something for me. It builds up my confidence and I'm not the only one that feels like that either. I'm a carpenter, I do like, uh, like build, build houses, I guess, like foundations, everything. Our First Nation people are better trained. Instead of getting somebody out of town that, to work here, get somebody uh, local to work as a journeyman and look after the renovation or new housing. People seem to take a little bit more pride in, uh, in uh, their units now that they're fixed up and not full of water and uh, it's, been, it's been good, yes. Life here is good. A lot of space. <laughs> I sleep well. I don't have to get cold at nights. It's, it's good to have a house. My girlfriend has never had a fully functioning house, whether it's no plumbing, no running water. I uh, look up at the ceiling and you can see the insulation. I love seeing my kids running around inside it to say that this is my home. We like to call it our dream house. I enjoy living here. I probably stay here for the rest of my life. I like it here. <laughs> I am glad to be a, a leader here, a chief in my community. It is a nice place and uh, basically we are, uh, we are a family here. This is good. It builds up the confidence and puts smiles on the kids' faces. Especially when you're walking by a finished project and you see a happy family in that house and you say, we did that. <laughs>